Charities across Britain have raised concerns about customers accessing the support available to them via the government's energy support scheme. Under the initiative, all households in the country will see a £400 reduction in their energy bills, which is applied over six months. Almost a million customers are on traditional prepayment meters, and according to the latest data, hundreds of thousands of people have failed to claim the support that was available to them in October. Earlier, I spoke with Stu Bretherton, the Energy for All campaign coordinator at Fuel Poverty Action, for more on this story. I would say the government does need to improve on making this information available to people and ensuring that everyone receives what they're entitled to. But ultimately, vouchers um, don't scratch the surface of what uh, issues people are facing. We need radical change and a solution to... Uh, rapidly reduce uh, people's parts, people's bills. Uh, so at Fuel Poverty Action, we're proposing uh, Energy for All, which would function as more or less a free basic univer uh, free basic energy allowance. Um, those necessities ensure uh, and ensure that in fuel poverty in this country, not just have vouchers sort of um, topping up uh, the profits of companies uh, that are ripping people off. In terms of public service cuts, it's very difficult in the UK to see where they're going to cut it from. Our health services, our um, public services in general, education have already been stripped to the bone. The, we, we need investment in these services, not further cuts. In terms of tax rises, uh, to some degree, it's absolutely needed, but who are these tax rises going to uh, impact most. We firmly believe it should be the richest in society. And one great example to start with would be oil and gas companies who, as I say, have announced, you know, uh, Shell have doubled their, doubled their profits in the last quarter on last year and uh, just recently announced that they've paid zero tax on any of that and they've uh, made UK's area of the North Sea. So that's a massive um, untapped uh, source of income for this country. What they call an early day motion has launched in Parliament or a free uh, basic energy allowance, uh, universal, uh, yeah. Um, and that would, for the very most part of uh, most people on little incomes, uh, bills, bring people's homes up to a standard, keep them warm and energy efficient. We now have a number of MPs, uh, many of whom showed up on the day of our petition hand, We've expressed support for uh, this action and we hope that they will continue to push within their own parties so that this could be an actual manifesto uh, in the coming months when we may well see a general election in this country. The price of wheat and corn rose sharply today after Russia announced it was suspending its participation in an agreement that has allowed Ukrainian grain exports for months. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who helped broker the agreement, has said that he remains committed to the deal. There are concerns that this latest setback could further fuel food inflation and deepen the risks of shortages and famine. Russia has accused Ukraine of exploiting the grain corridors to launch drone attacks in Crimea. According to reports, Twitter is considering charging for the blue check mark, which verifies the identity of its account holder. In a tweet posted Sunday, the social media platform's new owner confirmed that the verification process is being revamped without providing any further details. Under the proposed new plan, Elon Musk has tasked staff to change its $4.99 a month subscription service Twitter Blue into a more expensive one that also verifies users at a higher cost of $19.99. Those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.